Hello everybody, this is a Shadowbox, and welcome to a new series on Farming Simulator 22. This is a multiplayer series that you guys are free to join the, via the mutual aid communities sponsored by Cloud Data Hosting. And uh, yeah, the details for the server can be found on uh, my Discord channel. Uh, we are here on the Old Stream Farm, and uh, right now this is the only mod we're running. It is crossplay compatible. We will put more mods in the future, but we will be sure to keep it crossplay compatible. In fact, you see a Shadowbox 16 right there is my wife Sarah playing on our PlayStation 4. So, yeah, we got a, a few things to uh, to do here. All right, uh, we have as far as farmland goes. This is the farm that we have, uh, basically fields 1 through 15. And uh, some decent starting equipment, all like uh, medium-sized tractors. We got one small tractor for like small yard work. We've got a new Holland Harvester. And uh, we're going to try to get some uh, some chickens and some sheep going today. So, yeah, <laughs> let's get going. We got uh, CI Gaming here, who's uh, actually the owner of Cloud Data Hosting. So he's... Uh, you know the the sponsor of the series, so thank you, Sig. Uh, we got our friend Nibbles that's running away because he's a miscreant, <laughs> and uh, obviously my wife Sarah. How dare you! <laughs> and me. Wow. All right. I'm miscreant. There it is. Let's get going. I remember that. Can I you remember that? Are you denying that you are a miscreant? I mean, for the sake of, you know what? No. Just... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's, best, no, it's best to leave that one alone. <laughs> oh, Cramony. All right. All right, I think I'm going to jump into the harvester, unless one of you guys wants it, or already uh, has it. What are we harvesting? Uh, the sorghum's ready to go. Ah. Chicken feed. Yeah, exactly. We can get the sorghum going, and then we can... Uh, Get, actually, the sorghum's the only thing, not counting the grass. The sorghum's the only thing that's actually ready to harvest. So, was that two? Yeah, two. So, if you want to run the uh, the grain trailer, Sig, or if you have another task you want to do, if you could just pull the grain trailer over to the field for me. Either we'll one. be more than glad to uh, grab the grain trailer. Yeah, so we're, uh, the dealership on this map is an Agco dealership, so we are running uh, mostly Agco equipment. A couple exceptions here and there, such as our uh, nice new Holland Harvester. Uh, once the free farming simulator update comes out with that adds the uh, new harvesters will probably switch to either the Fent or uh, Massey Ferguson harvester. I gotta figure out where the access for this field is. Is it off the road over here? I don't know. We're going on an, on an adventure. Well, that'd be the front of my tractor there, bud. It's not your tractor anymore, it's our tractor. Yeah, this is a communist farm. That's right. You know, you are pushing the... Okay. There's no traffic. <laughs> Jesus. Just push the header trailer out of the way. Ooh, wow. Look at the culvert here. Looks good. Yeah, unfortunately, we had a little spot of weeds pop up in this field, but... It's like every time you say, but I keep thinking you're from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there, bud. I mean, if you really think about it, Minnesotans are essentially, you know, Canadians. Just... Don't associate us with that soy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I mean, not like our governor is far off, but... Uh, rolling backwards down the hill. That's fine. Everything's fine. Are you fine? Yep. Everything is awesome. Jesus. Insert dog with background on fire meme. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. 
<laughs> oh, the house is burning. Hey, it's 20 below outside, but at least you're warm, right? Right. Exactly. All right, get this headland cut, and then we can start on the up and down rows. So I said I was going to tell a story once we started recording. We've been on the server about 20 minutes or so beforehand. About 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, so I was talking about how my uh, favorite calls to run are uh, extrications. And uh, one of my most memorable extrications was uh, a car that had gone into a tree. And uh, the passenger had been reclining in their seat so once they hit the tree they like came forward like a freaking catapult and smacked their head on the dash Ooh. um so they had a pretty good uh head injury and of course we wanted to take spinal precautions so i was in the back seat of this uh, smashed up car trying to hold c-spine on this lady and um Obviously, a side effect of many head injuries is altered mental status. Um, so she wasn't, like, quite all there. And I'm holding C-spine on her, and she just reaches up with both of her hands, grabs each of my middle fingers, and then just bends them backward as hard as she can. Nice! <laughs> I'm like... That... I still did not let go of the C-spine. Thankfully, she... Uh, didn't, you know, snap my fingers off like freaking carrots, because she was you know, old, so as hard as she can, and still not as strong as my grip strength, apparently. Um, but it did it did hurt. I was like, guys, get this freaking Z collar on her right now. <laughs> like, I... Not that, not that you can, you know, stop holding C-spine once you get a C collar on, but, um, Yeah, it's uh, just just something that, that would help protect her C-spine, so if she did that again, I wasn't the only thing stopping uh, her spinal cord from getting severed in half. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was definitely one of my more memorable extrications. I think, I think it's the only time I was uh, assaulted by a patient during an extrication. <laughs> <laughs> Unknowingly. Yeah, exactly. Don't ever put in your document the uh, patient report as the acronym ARD, assuming room, assuming room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, celestial discharge is another one. DC to JC. Yeah, yep, DC to JC. There it is. <laughs> oh, dark humor. Yes. Or rolling up on a scene and looking at somebody in a car going, yep, they dead. My, my favorite is self-extricated when they went through the windshield. Ah, there we go, self-extrication. Yep. My favorite. To Jesus Christ. Sig, are you still in that tractor? <laughs> yeah, I'm so careful. Yep. It makes the arrest a lot easier when they run and they put themselves through the windshield. <laughs> it's like, where, where are you going? Where are something you going? Tells me, something tells me you've had a few of those. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, because the last thing they're going to think is to put their seatbelt on. They're worried about trying to get away. This is very true. Hmm. Foobar. <laughs> yeah, uh, what were those commercials that were want to get away? Yep. Uh, oh. What was that for? I do not remember. I, I have a feeling it was for, like, a food or something. Like, not not necessarily, like, it, it wasn't, like, Expedia or Travelocity or anything like that. Uh, I thought it was Travelocity. Want to get away, book a flight with Travelocity today. Something like that. I don't know. I think it was the same voiceover guy, too, that did the Geico commercials. Oh, yeah. The Geico commercials. Gotta love those. We're not going down another rabbit hole of old commercials. <laughs> Aw, but that's fun. 
we can't have your stream and my video both be flagged for copyright. I mean, don't make a difference to me if my stream gets copyrighted. I still make money regardless. I mean, I don't put ads on my videos anymore, so it doesn't like super matter to me. It's not like I'm losing any income, but I just try to keep my videos ad free. Play pay for premium, and then your content creators get a cent a piece. It's like there you go. There's there's your money. Right. YouTube went down a hole when they decided to, to have people that literally make a living from it. It's like no, that's not what the platform is. Yeah. There's one for when a victim sells. I think it's high velocity. <laughs> I, my my biggest pet peeve on YouTube is the mid-roll ads. Like, I will watch a 30-second ad before watching a video. Like, that's fine. But when you're interrupting the video every three minutes for a 30-second ad, it's awful. I even when I even when I monetized my videos, I never allowed mid-roll ads on my videos, just out of principle. Yeah, I'm thinking about um, if my YouTube channel gets. Um, largely active again like it used to be rather than just monetizing off of YouTube I might do like a Patreon or something and include like Discord rewards or like a credit screen at the end of my videos or something like that um, but I don't think I'm ever going to go back to putting ads on my videos because I just disagree with YouTube's entire monetization system at this point I would just switch over to Twitch and do streams, but my upload speed is not good enough for high quality streams. <laughs> Talking about ads, they get annoying when the start when the start and go through the whole stream every five minutes you get three or four ads per section. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well see the incentive to that is you allow your subscribers on Twitch to pay and then they don't have to watch those ads. That's the benefit for being a Twitch subscriber. Or you just get Twitch Prime and then it doesn't force ads. Do you just want to take that directly to the chicken feed point, Sig? I uh, can. I don't yeah, think I any. Uh, is. I don't think any other uh, fields are ready to harvest right now. So I'll just get this parked back up, and then we'll buy some chickens, and that'll be objective one. Hi, Nibs. Hello. Thank you, sir. You forgot to fold that header, by the way. I don't think that header folds. Um, you can bring the reel down. Oh, really? It's good practice to bring the reel down and in. I didn't even see that there was a fold option on the header. You have to do it with the right stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never mess with that because I figure that uh, I'm just going to mess with it wrong and adversely affect the yield instead of positively affect the yield. Oh my gosh, I hate these trailers. Maybe we need to have some chickens in there first. I'll buy some uh, chickens. Tip side. There it goes. Um, I just want to point something out that there are chickens literally running around outside. Yeah, free range chickens. Ooh, wow. They took a decent amount, that is for sure. Yeah, go forward, don't back up. Yeah, cart trailers are a, are a pain. I hate them. That's why on our private server, we actually have a mod in that blocks those stupid things from doing that. Yeah, you, where you can lock that axle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's a script, though, right? So we can't get that on. Uh, I believe so? Yeah, it's a script. It's not... It's not crossplay. 
Yeah, that's too bad, because it would be a useful mod. Alright, and since we're not making silage with any of this, I'm not going to bother putting any additive in the tank, because I don't think it increases any uh, hay yield. I both really hope and really don't hope that a train comes through right now, because Sarah might be stuck on the tracks. What do you guys think? Should we invest in a livestock trailer or just pay the transport fee? Um, pay the transport fee. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we really need the the uh, livestock trailer until we get into like cattle or pigs, and we're trying to like actually sell the animals regularly. But like for chickens and sheep, you don't typically sell them very often. So yeah, just it also keeps the slot count down. Yeah. That just means you need to build her a PC so we don't have to worry about slot counts. Oh, it's uh, it's in the long-term plans, but uh, with the cost of parts right now, not anytime soon. They're not that expensive. There's a, there's a mini PC you could hook her up with, too. It's got a Ryzen, I think it's a Ryzen 5 APU in it. I'll be honest. It basically works as like a 2060. I'll be honest, I thought about ordering the Steam Deck. This is not the shop. This is not where I meant to be. Bigger plow would be nice. Yeah, I yeah, I do intend on adding the the lizard chisel plow in like our first round of mods. The six meter and nine meter? Yeah. Would be nice. This is, uh. What the hell? Like, am I just being special? Where the hell is the shop at? Um, it is directly west of the farm. That is super helpful. Uh. It looks like you're. Oh. Where, where are you? I'm over by. I'm assuming. Oh my god, you're south of the farm. You're way off. Yep, you are special. Thanks. <laughs> yep. So you you need to go like out the yeah. main gate and then west past fields twenty nine and twenty eight. It's like right there. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. I'm getting more hay off of this uh, small field than I thought we would. I forget how good the yield on grass is. I don't think this was even fully fertilized. It was fully grown though, like to the extra growth stage. Okay, so the shop got moved from the last time from the FS19 version. Yeah, I never played this map on FS19, so... 19, the shop used to be um, kind of up by field 3. Gotcha. That's why I went that way. I guess we could uh, theoretically get cows, too, because I think you can just feed cows with uh, hay. Obviously, they're not as productive as with TMR, but like just to get started, we could. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Um, I don't know. It doesn't bother me either way. <clears throat> it's your farm there, uh, Shadow. It's our farm. Remember, we're communist here. Oh. <laughs> um, you could. You're not going to get much with them, though, off the bat. Yeah. I mean, being that we are going to have corn coming in, though, so... Corn, yeah. we can at least Oh, use that's pigs. Them. This is pigs. That's why I can't put... I thought that was the sheep pen. That's the cows. Oh, the sheep pen's probably the grass, the grassy area. That would make sense. Do 
be here. Yes, and where's the feed? Inside? Yes, all right. I think we could probably get a small number of dairy cows just to get started. Maybe like, well, you know, be, a dozen or something. Gain, we're gonna be getting corn anyway, so. Uh, you you don't. Believe. That's a seasons thing in base in like a seasons mod thing in base game. You don't give cows corn, just TMR. Oh. You give uh pigs corn though, so. Oh, hey, there you go. But I think you also need uh, root crops for pigs, so and we just plowed our uh, ours yeah. under. <laughs> Yes, so maybe I not pigs, but we could get started potatoes, with every other. Potatoes, I believe, are we are used for pigs most of the time. I think they or take cut sugar beet as well. They take anything probably. They're pigs. Um, maybe start with like fifty sheep. We can take up to a hundred. Uh, no, that's, that's kind of a lot of sheep. Well, but we have a lot of grass, so that's fine. Yeah, we'll do fifty if you sheep. Have plenty, if you have plenty of hay, it doesn't hurt to do it. Yep. There's that, and then maybe just a dozen dairy cows to get started. That and we'll feed them with hay. And uh, I think one of the one of the mods I'm going to add as well is going to be that um, fermenting silo, as long as it's crossplay uh, yes. compatible. I believe it is. Um, Don't quote me on that. It's a production. Like, it, it uses it as a production, right? Not like a script. Yes. So I think it should be, but... Who knows? All right. Uh, I need to find the feed point for the cows. Probably in the actual barn. But which of these doors? Uh, if you come towards the sorghum field, there's a shed door that'll open. You can drive in there, I believe. Yep, there it is. How much are straw blowers? Um, 20,000? I think 20,000? 30,000 maybe? Yeah, the smallest ones... Well, they're 37,000 and 36,500. Ah, so, yeah, not... Not terrible. I mean, we might as well just buy one. Because we're going to need it for, like, all season. Right. What is the lease price? Oh, well, the lease price per day is, 3, 000, is only 365 dollars and it's still less than a thousand for yeah we'll just lease it um because we'll only pay probably around three thousand dollars for the year that we need it so we'll lease it and return it once we actually have our own straw in uh storage Oh wait, each bale has 9,000 liters, I think. So it should have 18,000 liters. Actually, are telehandlers able to use a big, the big, big lifter? I don't know. Nibbles was just complaining about it, so I assumed so. Doesn't look like oh. it. We're about to find out. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna be buying uh, our machine. Or you could just use the pallet forks. That'd be the other thing do. Nope. Can't use the bale lifter, the bag lifter. And we could buy we could buy a front loader. We could buy a front loader just to keep at the shop and uh, use it for bales the, uh, and bags. Twenty six thirty or the twenty three E or something like that. All right. I assume that's the purchase point for cows. We want about a a dozen Holsteins.
No, well, maybe two dozen. Let's see how full our barn is now. All right, not nearly enough of anything. <laughs> really? Yep, so we just gotta go. I'm gonna grab another two straw bales and uh, another trailer okay. full of hay. Come get the... Uh... The telehandler is sitting up here. Hey everyone, I just thought I'd take a minute while the short time lapse is going to talk to you about Cloud Data Hosting, who I'm proud to say is our channel's first sponsor and who is providing the server we're playing on. The owner is a personal friend of mine, in fact you can see him playing on this server right now, and as a gamer he understands what you need from a game server. You can expect high reliability, quick service, and fair prices from Cloud Data Hosting. As someone who is currently using their service, I can attest to the reliability and stability this server has shown so far. I live almost 700 miles away from where the server is actually hosted, and the ping has maxed out at 50 milliseconds, but usually stays in the mid-30s to low-40s. This means our multiplayer game is just as smooth as a single-player game for me. For Farming Simulator, you can get a 16-slot server with almost unlimited space for mods and personalized service starting at around $20 a month. Getting in contact is easy, just send an email to the address in the description of this video or join the official Cloud Data Hosting Discord, also in the description of the video. Thanks once again to Cloud Data Hosting for the sponsorship, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Ah, so, to my viewers, I uh, am sorry about the lack of content lately. I ended up having to RMA my graphics card because uh, the fans were malfunctioning and the card was getting really hot anytime I tried to record a video. Um, but it kind of ended up in uh, good news. Yeah, it ended up in a win-win <laughs> scenario for you. Yeah, basically. Um, for both you, the viewer, and Radio Shoutbox. Well, it's not, not much is going to change for the viewer. Um, no, they're going to get the actual content, though. Well, yeah. Content again. But, um... <laughs> so... I sent in my base uh, RTX 2060 graphics card, and I got back an RTX 2060 Super. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, however, the downside to that is... It only has one HDMI port on it, and the rest are um, display ports. And my monitors are a little bit on the older side. They're probably like six or seven years old. Um, and they're, uh, I mean, they're 1080p, 60 hertz monitors with HDMI compatibility and no display port whatsoever. Um, so I took that as an indication that I need to get a uh, new monitor. I mean, yes, I could have just bought an HDMI to display port cable, but that's not nearly as fun. Um, so Best Buy had an LG monitor, and I forget the exact model that it is already. Um, they had it on sale for $100 off, so I got a 27-inch 1440p 144Hz monitor, um, which is uh, an upgrade over my old 23-inch 1080p 60Hz monitor, so uh, yeah, it's pretty excited about that. Of course, I'm still going to be making videos in a 1080p um, just because it is easier on the system as a whole. It uh, takes less rendering time, less uploading time, all that. If my, uh, and less disk space. If uh, I had better internet, I'd probably try doing 
1440p uh, videos, but um, the upload time would like triple for that increase in quality, so. Especially if I included the 144 frame, uh, frames per second instead of the 60. <laughs> yeah, you would you would definitely have to get a little bit faster internet on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about maybe switching it to barley, but wheat will be okay. Barley would have a better yield, but I don't know if we're gonna put any put, barley. Then you should have put. Then you should have put barley. Oh well. All right, there we go. I think that is gonna do it for us today. We are running out of daylight here, and also running out of time in real life. We gotta be getting ready to go to the restaurants. Both have uh, dinner dates, essentially. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going out for my brother's birthday, so please don't refer to that as a dinner date. <laughs> well, I mean, Sarah's going with, right? That's true, she is, yeah. So, I mean, technically it is. Um... So yeah, remember guys, if you would like to come on the server and play with us, this is crossplay compatible, and uh, the details for the server can be found on my Discord, which is linked below. There is also contact information for cloud data hosting below. Um, if you're interested in having your own farming simulator server, why not uh, shoot CI Gaming here an email and ask him about his uh, pricing options. But guys, Indubably. until next time, I've been a Shadowbox here with CI Gaming, Nibbles, and uh, my wife, who is also going by a Shadowbox because she's using my PSN ID. <laughs> <laughs> um, we hope you guys have a good one. We hope you'll come join us. And until next time, have a good one. See ya.